Is this the time to buy Quant? Welcome back to the channel, everybody. In this video, I wanna talk about an altcoin that I covered quite a bit uh, back in 2021. And right now, it's at its lowest price point that we've seen here in the last year. So is this the right opportunity or will Quant go lower? It's a big question. And we don't have exactly the answer, right? If we had that, obviously, a crystal ball, we know we'd all be rich and famous by now, but we're on that path. But looking at some of the top altcoins right now that I think are doing a great job in this bear market, Quant is right up there with, I think, Chainlink as a pretty good performing asset. If you look at the all-time high of Quant, it rose up to about almost $400. We're currently sitting at 85 bucks. And I do think it's a pretty nice price target here uh, looking at Quant, because the lowest we've been in the last year is about $84. I do think altcoins could see a further slide, but I'm getting really, really close to opening up a position in Quant finally. You know, I didn't chase it. That was a big, big thing for me. I, I didn't chase it on the way up when it already crossed over 150, 200, 300. I didn't want to go chasing it because I already missed it and I knew we were still in a rough market that we'd probably come back down eventually, and here we are. So I look at Quant as a big, big player in the future. There's been a ton of rumors talking about Quant uh, used, as, uh, used by governments. Here's the other thing. What it really fundamentally does is Quant brings the opportunity of interoperability. And when we talk about interoperability in blockchain, it's essentially one blockchain being able to communicate with another blockchain. By the way, here's a little boat going by. Sitting out here in Amsterdam, guys. Amazing. Um, so this interoperability, this idea that blockchains can communicate with other blockchains is very, very crucial for kind of, you know, the future of, of, of blockchain. Like, instead of being in silos, being able to have these blockchains communicate with one another, I think really helps us scale. Right? When we talk about getting another 5-10% of people in the world into crypto, these type of networks that, that offer interoperability, I think are going to be ones that are massive, massive, massively successful uh, in the future. So Quant, I think, is getting at these levels where we need to start paying attention to it. 85 is a pretty good range right now. Could we go a little bit uh, down? Could we, could we fall a little bit further? Maybe. This is why if I do decide to get in, I wouldn't go all in at 85 cents, but I would leave some cash on the sidelines, open up a position. And if you're playing the long game here on Quant, I think we're still in a really good spot. Let me know what you guys think about this. Do you agree, disagree? Smash that like button so this video gets out to the masses. Appreciate you guys. We'll see you in the next one.